Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored. Last time we made it out of the sewers. This time we're going to meet up with the guys who want to help us reclaim the Empire and good old Emily. This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose and he don't know a thing. Plagues are useful that way. I kind of wish we could. If anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Good to feel important. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Royalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Mission clues updated. All right, let's see what we got here. Samuel has smuggled you across the river. Land of the Road region has brought you to meet the members of the organization. I need a clue. I need a clue. That's a summary of what's happened. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. Okay. Yellow. Last, Admiral. It... We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. Hello. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. It's been a at while, risk of then. execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry. I'm up for that. You must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. Uh, it's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. Right. right. Come on, I want to talk to Piero. Piero's going to be our merchant in this game. Well, actually, he's more like our Q. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. Gimme, 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 gimme. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is on it. This thing runs on whale oil? Can you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna be careful here, cause yeah, I probably should explain that about this game. Uh, this steampunk area, this steampunk setting runs entirely off of whale oil. Kind of funny, cause um, that's a bit of a historical in joke, because. And, and, uh, oh, hey, let's listen to this while I'm looking at this. Academy up. teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure and the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, whale oil uh, comes from the wh whales. Although whales are different in this game. I'll see if I can explain it when we actually see a whale. But the funny thing about whale oil, no one understands how it works. All they know it is that it does. An empty tank. 
just grab this. Alright, don't throw this thing. It'll explode. Yeah. Don't worry, we can get a, a, a fresh tank right here. Let's pop this here. Let's fill this one up, and this time we won't throw it. Although you may want to keep that in mind, get a nice in um, improvised weapon. Just don't throw it at this guy, otherwise you'll have to Perfect. reboot from your no, last save point. Just in there. near the receptacle, Mac. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will be in terror to me. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? See the lens out of the line. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Uh -huh. Tell me what I can make for you. Right, let's have a look. Now, back to my original tangent before I... Uh, got distracted. The uh, whale oil thing is a bit of a historical in-joke. I can't remember the time period exactly, but back during the time of Yankee capital capitalism, uh, whenever that was, uh, there was a uh, fun little way to make a profit. Whale oil lamps. The lamps themselves were cheap as all heck, so anyone can afford the lamp. The oil to fuel the lamp, however, was incredibly expensive. Funny how that works. Right. Um, bullet capacity, mass optics. Right. Um, crossbow range. Crossbow accuracy, I want that. Uh, don't have enough coins for anything else. Um, let's see. Hmm. Let's grab some sleep bolts. Trap that can be placed on nearly any surface. Eh. A rewire tool. Allow the use to rewire the circuitry and current security systems to your advantage. I'll be fine without that. And I'll scavenge for whatever else. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. I'll head to my room for sleep. Sleep well. And... Teleport. Okay, well that was a nice nap. Let's go meet up with the others. Alright. Hmm. Anything... Alright. Hey guys, I'm... Someone renovate while I was asleep? Ah, uh, damn it. What? I just got here. I don't even know the layout. How am I supposed to learn it if you guys renovate it while I'm sleeping? I mean, who's. Why is everything floating, anyways? But hello, Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? No the kidding. Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and Ow. The world, great forces that we call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. My gift to you. What's the catch? Come find me. Oh boy, this isn't... Okay, now we get our first of several Eldritch Abomination-like magical powers. Blink, the coolest looking one. 
It's left trigger, we can execute a flash, a fast, stealthy forward dash in the world. Basically, teleportation. Right. Uh, it's very nice from what I saw. Nice little mark to know when you're going. And oh, that's nice. Just walk across the Emperor's dead body. Empress's Emperor, Empress, Empress, Empress's dead body. What's in the letter? You cannot save her, you cannot save her, you cannot save her, you can't save her. Just rubbing salt in the freaking wound. Blink. And jump. Who's manhandling my little girl? Emily's letter. Corvo, I'm sad. They say you're dead like mother, but I'm going to put this in a bottle and throw it into the river. I don't believe them. Living here is strange. I don't like it, so please come for me if you can. I'm guessing these guys are going to be important later. And by guessing, I mean I know. Alright, let's do this. Let's head this way. And blink! Yep. And there's the Lord Regent, I think. And, ah, he's throwing a hissy fit. How cute. These guys look friendly. Also, nice. Uh, another nice little thing about Blink is that you can use it to. Well, you guys are fucked. Is uh, that you can use it to slow your descent, to make non-lethal drops, uh, lethal drops, non-lethal. You can also use Blink to help climb things. Steps. gonna be my downfall. Okay, there we go. Grab, grab, grab. Don't want to fall down here. Actually, wait. Is there one? I was thinking... There are fish swimming in the sky. Awesome. I was thinking, where is... There it is. There's one right there. There's a whale. And... Can't, I don't think you can really tell from this angle. Uh, you probably would have told, seen it better if I was up there. But that doesn't look like a regular whale, does it? Whales in this universe are mystical, pe are mystical the creatures. That follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this. The heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. And now we have the heart. This thing is basically a walking spoiler device. Equipping it, we can use it to find other the uh, bone charms, which we'll use for be able to get magical upgrades. And it'll whisper secret spoiler alerts to us if we point it, do it while pointing it at something. Uh, let's point it there. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. Right. On. Let's just keep moving. This thing's also a bit of a spoiler thing, so if you point it at a character, it may spoil facts about it. And by may, I mean will. So if you want to keep the, spo the story not spoiled, try to avoid that. Anything in here? And spiritual remedy, mana potion, basically. Actually, hold up one second. Blink. Link can be down there, the heart can be up there. All right. Uh, another thing you're probably going to want to take a note is that uh, Blink doesn't have to consume magic. If you l wait for it to cool down, you'll regain what mana you lo lost to performing Blink. Okay, the bone charm's down in there. Is there another one? No, the only one's there. Yep. 
And we're walking on the walls. Excellent. Let's stick away from the window, shall we? Uh, keep going. Okay, we're gonna have to add onwards and upwards, I think. And it just... Around that chair, I think. And if I can just... Yep. Okay, good. Where am I heading? Heart, guide me! Right. Um. Okay, time for that leap of faith. Close the blink. <laughs> and here goes! <laughs> Fa. Oh, thankfully, no game over. But now I have to redo all that again. Actually, wait, I wonder, is there anything in here? Because you don't have to come in here from the looks of things. Or you could do this. Am I overthinking though? Got a magic potion. Careful. Careful. like the bone charm. Speak that up. Alright, Mr. Exposition, could you explain to us what this does? Okay, I'll do it. Once you've collected some runes, you can open the journal to go to your power section and exchange them for powers. Runes. Right, let's see what I can get. Um, we can get dark vision or vitality. Increased health, or the ability to see see in the dark, see living beings through walls, including their field of vision. Representations of the sounds that you make are also visible. Yeah, we're gonna need this. Thank you. All right now then. Okay, this is the next one I'm gonna want. Actually, oh, jeez. Hmm. I'll think on it. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Freaking exposition! Oh, what do you know? It wasn't a dream. That means, let's see, we have a living beating heart just stuffed into our trouser, po trouser pocket. All right, crossbow right there. Blink, dark, dark vision. Regular crossbow up top, sleeper bolts to the left, dark vision to the right, blink to the bottom. And. Okay. Let's equip those sleeper bolts. And, yep, wasn't a dream. And dark vision. Excellent. Another coin. Alright, let's 
She fat. Empty bottle and out drink. Alright, where do we go? Let's just take a look around here, see if we can find anything interest interesting. probably do a bit of skulking on my own and actually that's this is probably the best time to end it this is going to be it for me for now i've been evil hummer 91 sorry it's taken so long to get on to the main meat and grit of the game but exposition just has to happen sometimes so this is going to be it for me for now i've been evil hummer 91 see you all next time for some more of dishonored